sirloin makes for an impressive holiday roast. And I'm going to show you how to butterfly and stuff a beef tenderloin. So here's our stuffing. This is a mushroom stuffing, sort of like a mushroom pate. And um, what we're gonna do to make it easier to stuff is we're gonna freeze it. And um, so first we use this plastic wrap to roll it up into a log. To get a really nice, tidy log of stuffing, you want to spread this out evenly before you start rolling. And it should be a little, couple inches longer than your roast. So when you roll it up tight, it's a couple inches shorter than your roast. So pat it down, get it nice and tidy, fairly even. It's a little, little bit longer than the roast. And then you just fold the plastic wrap over. And you can use your hand or a ruler works well for this. To tighten it up. And you roll it up. Take the ends and twist. And keep twisting until you get a really nice tight stuffing package. A little shorter than the roast. And this is works well for compound butters as well. And then we're gonna freeze this. So here I have some stuffing that I made and froze. Um, you just need to freeze it for a couple hours, but you can make it ahead and freeze it for a few days. So you just unwind it. So here is my stuffing. Now I need to butterfly the tenderloin. So this is the end of a tenderloin, and you can tell that because it has this piece of meat attached to the side. And what I really like to use for butterflying is a center cut tenderloin, which doesn't have this piece of meat. However, that can be hard to find in a, uh, if you're looking for a four pound roast, which this is. So I thought I'd show you how to deal with this piece of meat because this is likely what you're going to find in your local grocery store. So butterflying is really easy. We're basically just going to cut this open so, so we can open it up like a book. You start on the side and when you have the end piece, cut through this side piece first so the seam of the book is on the other side from this large side piece of meat. So I like to just put one hand on top. Just cut it in half, basically. It's really easy. And you can open it up and just work along that seam. And voila, there's your butterfly tenderloin. So now you just take your stuffing, put it right in there, fold this back up, and then we're gonna tie it to hold it all together. If you want to see more detailed instructions on this technique, you can check out our video on tying a rolled pork loin. Now a little salt and pepper. It's ready to roast. The nice thing about this is this roast can be stuffed and tied up to a day before cooking it.